It's pointless. Why? But why? Don't you know? Because that's the way death works. Wandering the world of the living unnoticed as a spirit, that isn't a continuation of life. When you die, that's it. There's nothing more. Nothing new begins. No matter how much you regret or wish, if you couldn't do something in life, you can't suddenly do it when you die. That's just how it works. No way to defy it. Try, and you end up like this. I thought that you might be able to sever his regrets and relieve him of his attachment to the living world, but... It looks like it backfired. A lesson for you. Don't work so hard for the dead. It's wasted energy, you see. We no longer have futures to fight for. There's nothing more to say. I have told you the whole truth. I won't have to ever again. I have always lied to you and asked for your forgiveness while keeping you at a distance. Because I wanted to keep you out of this. But now I think that perhaps you could have changed father, mother, and the rest of the Uchiha as well. If I had only come to you from the start, looked straight into your eyes and told you the truth, then I wouldn't have to stand before you as a failure, telling you all of this. But I want to impart at least this much truth to you. You don't ever have to forgive me. And whatever you do from here on out, know this. No matter what, I will love you always. Don't say that! You're not dying! There is one thing that hurts. I won't be around to see you fulfill your dream. That's fine. I have faith. You can do it. Cause you're my brother. Do you remember that day? Luffy, listen. There's only one way to live life, and that's without any regrets. Yeah. Someday, we're gonna head out to sea, and live the way we want to live. More free than anyone else. Regrets, even though it ended this way. <laughs> can't complain. <laughs> well, I can! You can't die like this! Sure, things could have gone better. But it's alright. I realized I didn't need fame or fortune after all. All I needed was the answer to a single question. At the very end, did I deserve to be born? <laughs> Haku's... dead. And what does it matter? What? You mean you can just stand there and watch him get treated like a dog? You and Haku were together for years, doesn't that mean anything? You don't understand the way of Shinobi. I merely used him just as Gato used me. Huh? Now it's over. His usefulness is at an end. The loss of his strength and skill, yes, that means something to me. But the boy, nothing. If you mean that, you're an even bigger rat than I thought. Ah, shut up! Far as I'm concerned, he's enemy number one! Why, you... 
You ungrateful! After everything he did for you! Haku lived for you! Is there someone who's precious to you? You were the most important thing in the world to him! For me, there is only one person who matters, and my purpose is to protect and serve him. And that purpose is what gives me my strength. And he meant nothing to you! Nothing at all! The way of Shinobi is very difficult for me. Well, he was sacrificing everything for you! You never felt anything at all for him! But I will do anything to see that his dream is fulfilled. Even become Shinobi if I must. And if I become stronger, does that mean... I'll become as cold-hearted as you are? He threw his life away. And for what? For you and your dream? I want only to make his dream come true. That is my dream. You never let him have a dream of his own. But he didn't care. I was happy. And you just toss him aside like he was nothing! A broken tool. Man, that's so wrong. So wrong! You talk too much. <laughs> Your words cut deep. Deeper than any blade. While he fought you, his heart was breaking in two. You see, Haku was always too soft and too kind. He felt pain and sorrow, and now, curse him, I feel them too. And something else. I feel content that this is the way it ends. Are you so surprised to discover that I'm human? Even Shinobi are human. No matter how hard we try to escape that simple fact, we always fail. Well, at least... I have failed. I'll tell you what kind of man I really am! I have no strength, but I want it all. I have no knowledge, but all I do is dream. There's nothing I can do, but I struggle in vain like an idiot! I... I hate... I hate myself! All I do is talk a big game and make myself sound like a big shot when I can't do anything! I never do anything, yet I complain with the best of them like it's my job or something! Who the hell do I think I am?! I'm a fraud! It's amazing that I can live like this and not feel ashamed! You know I'm right! I'm an empty shell. There's nothing inside me at all. I know there isn't. Guess that's obvious. Anybody could see that. Before I came to this place, before I got into the situation that led me to all of you, do you have any idea what I did with my life? I did nothing, that's what. I've never done a single thing worth mentioning. I had all that time and freedom, but I just squandered it away on nothing. I could have done anything with my life, but I never did a damn thing. And what you're looking at now is the result. This cowardly, weak, worthless crybaby! All of my powerlessness, all of my incompetence, is the product of my rotten and pathetic character. <laughs> Wanting to accomplish something important when I've never done anything to earn it goes way beyond the limitations of arrogance. The cost of my lifetime of laziness and all the wasteful habits I forged along the way just ends up killing both you and me. <sighs> That's right. I have no character. Even when I thought I could go on living here, nothing changed about who I really am. The old man back at the manor saw that part of me perfectly. Did me. I wasn't trying to get stronger or trying to make things better. That was a lie. I was just striking an obvious pose to justify myself, to say that I was trying my best, that it wasn't like I wasn't doing anything, to be able to appear to be doing everything I could. I wanted to say I couldn't help it, to be told that it couldn't be helped. I was only pretending to push my body to the limit so that all of those excuses would be possible. Even when I had you help me study, I was just posing to cover up how embarrassed I felt to be such an incompetent idiot! Deep down inside, at the core of my heart, I'm just a small, cowardly, filthy piece of trash who's always worried about how they'll see me, how they'll accept or judge me, and nothing... NOTHING ABOUT ME HAS CHANGED! I've 
I've known it since the very beginning. Everything that was happening was my fault. I'm the lowest of the low. I absolutely hate myself. Without a doubt, we will have peace one day. As long as there are those who believe that peace is possible, there still is hope. In the shinobi world, it's not how you live, it's how you die. A shinobi's life is not measured by how they live, but rather it's measured by what they manage to accomplish before their death. And looking back, my life has really been full of nothing but failure. Continually rejected by Tsunade. Unable to stop my friend. And unable to protect either my student or my mentor. Compared to the great and celebrated deeds of the Hokage, my actions are trifling, insignificant things indeed. I wish that I could have died like each of the Hokage. A tale is only as good as its final turn of events. The plot twist. And mistakes are an important part of the plot, too. I've lived my life always believing that the lessons I learned are what honed me. I swore I'd accomplish a deed so great that it would obliterate all my failures. I'd die a splendid shinobi. At least that's how it was supposed to go. <laughs> but this, my plot twist, my tale ending like this, the great Lord Elder prophesied that I would be the one to guide a revolution. A person who will make a great choice that will bring either peace or destruction to the world of the Shinobi. I thought I would defeat pain, stop the Akatsuki, and save the world from destruction. But in the end, I failed that too. How pitiful. How sad that this will be the ending twist to the tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. What a worthless story it turned out to be. Yes. That's right. I gave that child. Someday I'm gonna be a Hokage and you'll look up to me! My name's Naruto Uzumaki! Remember it! No way, I never go back on my word. That's the way of the ninja. Naruto. Now that I think about it, you're just like that novel's main character. You've inherited Minato and Kushina's wishes, their hopes. And yet... And yet I... You are my sensei, Jiraiya. You are a great ninja who possesses true talent. There's no one else like you in the whole world. A real ninja? is one who endures no matter what gets thrown at him. Let me explain something to you. There's only one thing that matters if you're a shinobi, and it isn't the number of jutsu you possess. All you do need is the guts to never give up. Never going back on your word, no matter what, and never giving up despite what the odds may tell you to do. Naruto. If that is truly your ninja way, then as your teacher, I have no business at all whining. Because, as everyone knows, a student inherits his ninja way from his teacher. Right, Naruto? Isn't that so? <laughs> Never give up. No matter what. That was the true choice that I was supposed to make. Naruto, you are the child of prophecy. I'm sure of it now. I leave the rest to you. The tale of Jiraiya the Gallant. Well, now it'll end a bit better, I hope. The final chapter. I'll call it Frog at the Bottom of the Well drifts off into the great ocean. <laughs> Just barely glorious. But glorious indeed. Now, I suppose it's about time I put down my pen. Oh, that's right. What should I name the sequel? I wonder. Let's see.
The Tale of Naruto Uzumaki. <laughs> yes, that has a nice ring to it. Thank you. 